Well, welcome. Uh, I wasn't expecting to see y'all in my bedroom. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, today's video... Let's talk about pillows. Yes, okay, yes. Today we are talking about your pillow and your bloom. The correlation. And I'm answering a bunch of questions that have come up over the last couple of days. So I'll meet you guys in my studio in in in, in just a second. In this video, we're gonna demo a bunch of blooms. We're gonna talk about three different pillows. And lastly, we are gonna go over some bloom blowing techniques we're gonna talk about the blue all of this is jam-packed into this one video so without further ado this is garrett brown art studios i'm garrett brown i think you are pretty awesome and i am back with another video let's get started so i just want to clear some things up listen I've seen a lot of you blaming your bloom failures on your pillow and that is not the case I'm gonna go through some experiments so we can kind of play together. But your pillow has nothing to do with the success of your bloom. Now hear me out on this. Getting the bloom and getting to the bloom to look like what you want to do are two separate things. Right now, I'm talking about the success of actually getting a bloom it has nothing to do with the pillow. And I see a lot of people, oh, I need to adjust my pillow. I think my pillow's too thick. I think my pillow's too thin. We're gonna put a rest to all that today because I'm gonna show you a thick pillow, a thin pillow, a medium pillow, big pillow, small pillow, every all kind of pillows. But the pillows around the world are a little upset because um. Y'all have been blaming them, and, and I've caught a lot of, of, of slack for that. So if you're still trying to perfect your bloom and work on your bloom, I'm going to show you the most efficient way to work on your bloom is to not use a pillow at all. So here we have quinacridone mm, magenta and pain spray. Here we have our cell activator. Right here we go. Okay, folks, here it is. Just so you can see, you do not need a pillow to practice your bloom. The pillow is just a tool to help you move and do tricks and fun things. No pillow. And because I like to make believers out of non-believers, this next one is Neon Orange by Artist Love. And these two goldens mixed together. And there you have it, folks. Lovely, beautiful cells. So we're going to move along to our second experiment. Here, we're going to do the drip test, and I'm going to show you three different pillows, and we're going to do three different blooms on all of those pillows. All right, so to start off this experiment, here is the drip test. So I am showing you the consistency of my pillow paints. This is... straight from the can it looks thinner than it actually is uh, this is the color place it's very thick this is artist law flowing water see how it's 
it just moves much easier and look the stream is much smaller and it just last but not least this is our artist life floor acrylic mixed with double the amount of water from the from the previous test this is really um look it's just almost like water super thin so for this experiment i am going to be using um Payne's gray and turquoise um we'll be used we'll be trying out different pillows but we'll be using the same paint so we're going to start off with our color place that is straight from the can See how thick it is. Gonna apply our till first. So we add our cell activator. Oh, this is really good grief. This is really pretty. And before I spin this out, let me just show you how you can move your bloom around when you have a nice thick pillow. See how it's moving around? but we're not losing too much of any shape. It's kind of holding its form. Guys, I want you to take a look at this. Mm. She is gorgeous. And if you know me, you know I love some negative space, so I'm definitely not gonna spend this anymore. All right, next we have a much Thinner pillow. We're going to go from one extreme to the other. This is Artist Love Acrylic Flow or Flow Acrylic mixed with water. And you're going to see how much thinner this pillow is. So, as you see, it's very thin. And when I go to move it around a canvas, it moves very quickly. All right, so we got some cells again. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, there are definitely some differences. Um, the white um, that is showing is my pillow. When you use a thinner pillow, it's easier to blow through it. However, if you saw how easy the cells were able to pop up and Look at the definition that you got. So I'm gonna spin this out and see what happens. Okay guys, I, I'm just so glad we are doing this experiment because look, look at how dramatic this painting is. Look at the cell definition. So don't knock a thin pillow out. Now I will say I did not spend nearly as much so that I did not lose everything and look, I mean, just look at the definition and when you have a th thinner paint, uh, you tend to get these color trails like this where the paint is mixing in with the pillow. Another um, advantage to a thinner pillow is because the paint is thinner, it's easier for the bubbles to rise out of the paint. Um, so. 
I've noticed that I tend to have less bubbles when I use a thinner pillow. All right, so here's our super duper thin pillow. It's actually really therapeutic to look at it come out. So my paint is super thin. Uh, I'm gonna try to blow very gently. And as you can see, we still got some cells. It's so thin, I, I just blew as little as I could. Okay guys, this was one spin on the turntable. Still not bad. I think it looks really cool. Now, how it dries, that'll be the true test. All right, so here are the dry results from our satin white color play straight from the can. As you can see, it dried just um, how we left it. Next, we have our Flow Acrylic by Artist Loft, which was thin with water, and it too dried perfectly well. Very happy with this. And lastly, Big surprise here. This is our flow acrylic mixed with double the amount of water from this one. And y'all, this is not bad. I mean, you saw how thin that pillow was and our paint held up very well. So I'm thoroughly surprised and pleased. Some tips and tricks, um, pros and cons, for using a thick pillow versus a thin pillow. With a thick pillow, some of the main things that I want to touch on is if you're going to use a thick pillow, especially for a large bloom, you want to make sure that you stir it very gently. Because your pillow is thicker, it's going to be more prone to air bubbles. If you're just turning and churning and mixing that uh, pillow and you don't let it sit, you are bound to have air bubbles. And because the paint is thicker, it's gonna be harder for those air bubbles to rise. So you need to leave it out overnight or let it sit for a good amount of time. Now, if you look at a thinner pillow, you are less prone. You're gonna still have some air bubbles, but less prone to have as many air bubbles because one, the air bubbles are gonna be able to rise much quicker out of the paint. Two, if you are using a thinner pillow and you're using water to thin it down, you're saving yourself a little money because we're not using as much paint and uh, we're stretching it, you know. So one thing that I want to add and it's something that I need to even do is if you're going to mix your pillow with water, I suggest using this distilled water because it has less minerals and you don't know the minerals that are, make up our tap water or our well water. So using a thin pillow also has some cons because your cells are much more likely to get wonky. You have to be really careful. If you spin, spin very slow, like just a little spin at a time. Don't go overboard because your pillow is so thin, the paint is just gonna be ready to move. Um, with that, you know, the chance for flocculation is gonna increase the thinner your pillow gets. So I'm gonna transition into talking about uh, the blow really quick. I'm here to let you know the truth as I see it. Just like with the pillow, it doesn't matter how you blow. If you have the right stuff in there, you're going to get some sales. May not be what you want. And that's where practice comes in. But I also see some people blowing like, ah, uh, it's not working because I'm not blowing right. Oh, oh not quite. Um, so I'm going to show you some blowing techniques. Um, and one thing to remember is in our paints, it's going to be easier to blow through the pillow. 
But even with blowing through the pillow, you should still see some cells if you are going to get cells. With a thicker paint, it's going to be harder to blow through the pillow, but to spread your paint out, which is essentially what you want to do, may take more breath because the paint is thicker and you're trying to spread it out. If you're painting on a large canvas or trying to make a large bloom, a key point to remember is the more you blow out that cell activator and paint on the initial blow or blows, the more you blow that out, the less it has to travel whenever you get to tilting or spinning it. So if you just blow it out a little bit, it has to travel so far that you're going to have more of a chance for it to be warping or your cells to lose its shape. Now, there's a lot more that goes into it, but that is a huge part of it as well. So. All right. For this experiment, these are my colors of choice. And this is color play satin white straight from the can. So as long as you put some cell activator on top and you actually blow the cell activator, you're going to get cells if you have the right paint consistencies going. The blow is important, but you can't, you're going to get cells if the consistency is correct. Here I'm going to blow straight down. Um, and I'm going to move my mouth around a little bit, but I'm not going to go from side to side. Did my best to blow directly down on the cell activator and I moved my mouth around just a little bit to try to get over the paint as it moved and this is the result. Let's move this. Looks really pretty. Now, this time, I am gonna blow kind of from side to side. really pretty um i think the effect is a little bit different uh, depending on how you blow but what i'm trying to get across to you is the magic is in the paint it's not how you blow you may not get what you want uh, you know blowing but if you have the paint consistency sees correct and you blow into the cell activator you will get cells so i know some people think oh gosh my blow isn't right your blow may not be right for what you want but as long as you blow <laughs> and you got the magic to make the magic happen guess what the magic's gonna happen One more trick or tip that I want to show you. So now we're working with the thin pillow again, and I want to show you how to get 
the center of your bloom to stay in place a little bit better. So with a thinner pillow, sometimes what you can do is literally blow your center of the bloom onto the canvas or in this case tile um, by blowing directly down you basically move all the paint out the way and your center will actually stay put even when you tilt and spin however the con to it is if you tilt or spin especially if you're tilting if you tilt too much the paint will roll over the center so i'm going to try and attempt this for you Okay, so you see the center has developed. Now, when I go tilting, that center does not move. As you can see, everything around it is moving, but the center is not moving. Now, if I keep tilting this way, it will move because I'm the paint is getting ready to cover it, but I'm not going to allow it to. So I haven't quite nailed it, nailed this yet, but I wanted to share it with you anyway. Well, it is about time to go. I am super grateful um, to spend a little bit of time with you and thrilled that you want to spend some time with me. Thank you so much. Um, I recently um, hit another milestone of 2,000 subscribers. I'm just blessed to be able to make content and you all enjoy it and don't be afraid to leave constructive criticism or something you want to see in the comments because without the audience, it's really no point for the creator. I always remember do everything with love. And until the next video, I hope you have an awesome day. Peace.